So here's the deal, I have to say thank you very much for my true fans who truly follow me when I first started dual sporting exactly one year ago. I was a completely new rider with not even mountain bike experience. I decided to saddle up and just learn for myself with no one to teach me. And then over time, that is when few riders took me in like this mountain life and the other guys I ride with and gave me the motivation to get better. Or more, they kind of forced me to my deaths. I know I'm a super tiny YouTuber with a small viewer base and that is fine for me. In fact, it's actually perfect. I really joined YouTube just to track my progress on how I do and of course I would like to see back on the places I have visited. I also enjoy keeping it as a diary as weird as that sounds. I like sharing my opinions on other bikes, what I think, on what should have been changed. But although I am no expert, I like showing the places I've been to with you guys and believe it or not I have met awesome people through YouTube. Like, this mountain life I actually met through YouTube, believe it or not. Dude, all that was covered in trees, man. I don't know. Oh, that's how the avalanche. I thought, wow, was this all the avalanche? Holy shit! The views, look at that. I don't know what mountain pass that is, but it's definitely pretty. Go all, all out here when it's covered in snow. I think it has to be above eight inches or something like that. And just coast all over with the snow bikes and stuff. This place is awesome. This guy's awesome. Uh, that's where it gets pretty gnarly. You'll feel there's plenty of room to turn around if you want to. Uh, that part, passing the summit, um, you'll see the sign Mosquito Pass. There's some pretty sharp turns and like pretty large rocks uh, on one of them. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows a lot more about, is uh, Webster more technical? So as a special thanks, I would like to give this saddlebag away for free, but there is a catch. On the next following six videos, you must comment and like the video. Yes, you need to do both because I use a special generator to draw out the name. And of course, it helps me give a bag to one of my true followers. After that, on the seventh or eighth video, I will call out the winner. From there, that winner needs to comment back his or her emails to send the bag over to them. Eventually, as I get more subscribers, I will do another one, and if I ever reach 10,000 subscribers, I might be giving away a few more things, probably bigger prizes too. But, if I ever get there. So, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button just to watch me grow into a better writer as time goes on, and again, I truly appreciate the small amount of followers I have. It's pretty neat, even though I'm a crappy writer and ride pretty basic average trails, you guys enjoy watching me ride. It, it makes me definitely feel great. Anyhow, I'll definitely catch you guys on my next video.
I decided to take the longer trail. I think this is about seven miles of single track or 10 around there. I mean, a little wind, a little tired, but nothing out of this world, you know? All right, so here's 770, single track. So yeah, it could definitely do single track. Ooh, it is a pretty cool uh, single track, that's for sure. I like it. So heck yeah, it could definitely do single track, no problem. And I like this too because the suspensions are so uh, so plush. This is actually a pretty uh, comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, Kalex is pretty comfortable on single track. I mean, yeah, not super gnarly, but boy, what a horrible place to <laughs> hit neutral. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 